Okay, it's time to put the finishing touches on our game and to publish it to our class website. Make sure your USB flash drive is plugged in and you're ready to go. Okay, Windows E, go to your flash drive, coal stock, game dev, space shooter, and double click on the space shooter project to begin. First thing we want to do is we want to hide the scroller. Choose our scroller object and under its properties, scroll down and you're going to find a property called initial visibility. We are going to hide the scroller by making it invisible. All right. Now we're going to comment our code. We've got a lot of different events here. We're going to click on the margin of every event and click add, add comment. In your own words, make a brief, meaningful comment, which explains what the code does. Here I've created a comment for the on start of layout event. It's a little bit more complicated, but some of our comments can be short and meaningful and a lot simpler, like this one. Every 200 milliseconds, we're going to spawn lasers. The purpose of commenting is so that someone else understands your code. Most importantly, that when you go back to it, you understand what you did. So take a moment, right click on the margin of all the events and add a comment. Make sure you understand what each event is doing and that you can describe it briefly in your own words. When lasers are not on the screen, we destroy them. Your comments don't have to be crazy long. They have to be short and meaningful. So take a moment to do that. Here I am. All my comments have been added for all of my events. It's very important that you get in the habit of doing this. No matter what you're programming in, it's important to document your code. All right. Next, we're going to create what are called groups. Groups are things that you can use to group events together. This helps you organize your code. It also helps us manage our projects as they get bigger and more complex. So let's create a group. Right click, add group. I created a group called startup and I give it a short meaningful description. I should put it at the bottom of the event sheet. I'm going to drag it all the way to the top. Now what you're going to do is you're going to drag in any of the applicable comments and events into the group they belong in. So for example, my startup group is going to include one event, our on start of layout event. All I do is drag it underneath the group and I'm going to make another group. Refer to your step-by-step -step instructions which list the groups and their descriptions as well as the events that belong underneath them. I just created a spaceship group and it controls how the spaceship moves and functions. I've got a couple of different events that fall under that group, that category. It takes a little bit of getting used to as far as dragging the events and comments around, but this is going to give you good practice. So spaceship, I put in the comment and the event that spawns lasers five times a second. I'm also going to bring in the event that checks to see whether the spaceship has lagged too far behind. I'm going to bring in the comment an event for whether the spaceship's trying to go past the scroller. And then when I'm done, I'm going to collapse that. Refer to your step-by-step -step instructions and create all the groups that I did with the descriptions that I've written down for you. Make sure that you organize all your events and their comments according to the guide that you've been given. Here I am creating an enemies group. My enemies group is going to have all the events that introduce challenge and danger to the game. So obviously the creation of meteors periodically is going to go there as well as its comment. That's the only one I have so far. 
here I am. Now I've added my final three groups. Each group has the events that belong in it, as well as their comments. I've also ordered them in a way that makes logical sense. Notice how the events are just slightly indented to signify that they're inside the group and that you can expand and collapse the groups by pressing on the plus and minus respectively. This is really helpful, especially for someone who hasn't seen your game before. They can really make sense of what you're doing. All right, with our code organized and commented, it's time to save our project and to export it so that we can publish it to our class website. Let's just go ahead and export it now. Go to File, Export Project, and choose the HTML5 Website option. We're going to export all the files that have to do with our project to our Colstock Game Dev space shooter directory but we're going to create a directory for this to go into we're going to call it html5 uppercase when we go to export our game for publishing construct2 is going to create us this html5 directory underneath the space shooter directory on your flash drive click next accept the defaults and click export right now construct2 is publishing all of the files that you're going to need to be able to play your game from any browser. Once you're done, go to Open Destination Folder. It's showing you all of the files and folders that it's created, which represents your published game. Now go to the desktop and launch FileZilla. We are going to go to your class website and we are going to publish these files. This will publish our game to the internet. Go to the class website using your username and password that you've been given. Notice you should have your local files on the left. Go to your flash drive and navigate to the HTML5 folder that we just used. On the right side is the web server. You want to make sure that everything's under public HTML. We're going to create a directory under public HTML called space dash shooter all lowercase. This is where we're going to put our published game, all of the game files. Double click so that you navigate into it. On the left side, your local files. Control A to select all of them. Make sure you've selected all the files in your Space Shooter HTML5 directory. Then drag them over underneath the Space Shooter directory. Remember, the Space Shooter directory should be under public HTML on your class website. All right, this is how we export our games and this is how we publish them to the internet using the class website. Now you need to test it. Navigate to your class website. Squiggly and then your user ID. Forward slash space shooter, space dash shooter, lowercase. This is where you published your game and as you can see, your game is on the internet. You can play it from anywhere in the world. You can share it with your friends. Congratulations. You made a simple game in Construct2. You published it to the internet where anyone can play it. From here, we're gonna add enhancements and build your skills until you're finally ready to create your own games with Construct2. Great job.